Welcome back to Brick by Brick. Today we're going to be going through the next top five LEGO Star Wars sets in my LEGO investing collection. So feel free to check out the first video where I went over the top five. Now we're going to be going over six to ten. So we'll start out with this set right here. So this is the LEGO 501st Legion Clone Troopers Battle Pack. It's got uh, 285 pieces. It's set number 75280. It's got some great minifigures in it. You get the four clone troopers as well as two battle droids. This has been a fun set to have. I bought like five or six of these, so I went in pretty heavy on this one. Thankfully, it's a relatively cheap set, so it wasn't actually that much money, but uh, it, was, it ended up doing pretty well as a LEGO investment. And uh, hopefully it continues to go up value. Generally, these LEGO Star Wars Battle Pack end up doing pretty well, so I'm guessing that that trend will continue. It's uh, going to probably do well, but I'm going to hold on to all of these for a little while longer, so we'll see how much they go up in value from now. Then we get to this set right here. So this is the oh, another Lego Star Wars set. This is the Action Battle Endor Assault set. It's got 193 pieces. It's got uh, two minifigures. It also has a little cannon thing that you, you can use to interact with the um, rest of the play features in the set. It actually comes with two of them. And it's this set I thought would be pretty cool. It's got a lot of playability to it. I am glad I bought a couple of them. They've ended up doing pretty well. And, uh, but I'll probably end up selling them in a couple of months or so, but we'll see how it ends up doing. Um, or maybe hold on to it a little while longer. We'll see how, uh, if it continues to go up in value by the same rate it has. Then we get to this set right here. So this is a uh, four plus set. It's the Lego Snow Speeder. So it comes with two minifigures. You get the like Rebel Force character there, as well as the Snow Trooper. There's some interactive elements to this set. It's got lots of big pieces. It's meant to be for a uh, younger audience, so it's got the 4 Plus label there on it. And uh, this set has actually done pretty well. I only bought one of them, but I thought it might do well. Generally, the LEGO Hoth and Endor and other famous locations from the Star Wars series generally end up doing pretty well when they are made up, made into LEGO versions. And uh, that trend has thankfully continued fairly well for this LEGO set right here and uh, hopefully it continues to go from value. Next up, we get to a bit of a bigger set. So this right here is the Lego Yoda set. So it's basically just a giant buildable version of Yoda. It's uh, set number 75255. It's got 1,771 pieces. So pretty big set. I was able to get this set on sale for a little under $80. I believe it uh, retails for $100, so I was able to do about 20% off. And uh, this set is now worth, I believe, last I checked, something around of like the realm of 115 to 125 or so. Uh, so it's already done pretty well, plus I was able to get it on sale, which helps increase some of the profits from investing in a Lego set. And it's done pretty well, so I'm, I'm going to hold on to it for a little while longer. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll end up selling it, but um, it does seem to be continuing to go up in value. So that's a good sign that I'll probably hold on to it for a little while longer, but we'll see if that trend continues. Next up, we get to a Lego, another Lego Star Wars Battle Pack. So this is the uh, Hoth Defense set, I believe, is something or something like that. It's got three little rebel figures as well as two build or a few builds. There we go with um, the little cannon things. So this set has done fairly well. It hasn't been retired for too long, but uh, generally, like I mentioned earlier, these Lego Star Wars Battle Packs generally end up doing pretty well. And thankfully, that's been the case with this set. It's gone up in value by a fairly consistent margin in the recent time it has been retired, but uh, it's got some cool minifigures in it and some great detail, so hopefully that helps drive the value of the set upwards. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions about any of the sets we went over today, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.